Good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Viore. I'm here with the curmudgeon. We've been asked to uh, explore and perhaps uh, rid this, this location of its infestation of uh, zombies. Um, in the instructions we got from our benefactor, the trader, we were told that uh, we need to present ourselves here at the in Asylum for the Insane. And the signage here says W. Siegel's Asylum. I explained we don't like to use the word insane any longer. Mm -hmm. That's um, right. You know, I think we prefer something like uh, maybe reality challenged or something of that nature. That's me. I'm reality challenged. Yep. Yep. Are we ready? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Now, my I don't know question what to for expect. the doctor, though, before we go too oh. far. Oh, hello. Um, can, can, um, can a zombie have mental problems? Um, well, I, I suppose <clears throat> I'm very tempted to say that, uh, you know, sort of in the same way that our, uh, somewhat independent uh, presidential candidate has, uh, a brain worm. Um, I suppose it's possible, yeah. I admit that news caught me off guard the other day. Well, should we, um, since this one's fairly large, should we do like we did with Central Station and just run it to explore it and see how good it is? Oh, shit. Get back. Boy, me and vultures. Me and my vultures, they do not like me. Uh, do you think we should just run it and then loot at the end, or? I think that might make sense, yeah. Yeah, all right. If I can resist the temptation to peek into these little containers. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, these are locked here. Well, as one might expect. Now, here's a ladder that seems to be suggesting a... A means of entrance, but um, no, there's not room. I don't you need to uh, chop out a block to get in. There. Yeah, you need to chop out a shutter block or a window. I guess that's actually a window. All right. We're going to tell the uh, the residents from um, the um, I don't know that that's important. I think cop, we all cop, need, cop, need cop, to cop. cure. I think they all need to be treated at this point. Okay. Sounds good to me. Oh, this is a fetch, too. Or also, uh, which way? Which way? Well, uh, I'll get we the entered in since we're walking on by. an upper floor on the second floor, so we may need to find a way. Got a red dot down, down here in front of me. Okay. Nope, that was an actually dead, dead one. I'm going to chop open these doors oh, here. See, and I turn around and did, did what I just told you I wasn't going to do. I wasn't going to loot. I'm going to go ahead and chop these doors open, though. Okay. Oh, that one's in the lock, so that was kind of... Oh, maybe this. I hear some growling and snarling. All right. So this just goes outside because we had somebody waiting there for us. So we go back this way. 
Well, wait a minute. So there's a door on the second floor, or a double door on the second floor that goes outside? Yeah. Uh, that the... is insane. It, yeah. Oh, oh. there's a, maybe there's a... There's a raised, remember there's raised steps out okay. there, or stairs or uh, something. Ah, I see. All right. Must be a basement I... someplace because my fetch thing is pointing down. Oh, this is the dining hall. Here's one of the doctors or nurses or something. Of course, I miss her, but... Here comes the kitchen staff. Uh, I think that they prefer to be referred to as the uh, supervisors of nutritional therapy. Okay, okay, and I'm sorry about the supervisor of nutritional therapy. This looks like a hit shop opportunity here. Yeah, it was. Mm, cooking pot, but I'm gonna resist. I'm gonna resist. I hear the pitter patter of little feet. I do too. Right around here somewhere. Oh, inside the, the unlocked door. Well, I mean on the other side of the unlocked door. All right, here's a stairway down. Okay, let's go down. Um, I'm also not going to look in the toaster because I know there's not going to be any Pop-Tarts in it, which, again, frustrates me greatly. Oh, Bubba said you didn't look behind your back, did you, old man? No, I didn't. Locked and locked. Unlocked. Unlocked. Skeletor. Mine is on this floor, it looks like. What about yours? Um, on this level, but a considerable distance away. Oh, really? Mine's this direction. Okay. You know, I don't know about you, but for my, for my mental stability, um, this place is depressing as shit. I don't think it would help me any better. That's one way to save for the same time. Well, I was worried he was going to blow up on the spear. I turn around just in time to see her bootay. Yeah, I don't know if this would make me feel all that good, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I, I know what you're saying. I mean, I also kind of feel as, uh, as though, as though uh, once again, we're required to break open doors okay. or walls or whatever in order to reach the zombies that we have to eliminate to yes. clear. Yes, I agree. I don't... I think and my I, chest is on the other side of this wall. The oh, only great. reason I can okay. think he would do that is those are supposed to be the ones that were locked up. Yeah, here it is. Right. Okay, so, so it I, fits the narrative, but it doesn't quite fit my expectations, at least for the way. Right. Kind of like the nuclear power, power plant, right? Yeah. Okay, why don't you lead the way since you know where you're... Um... Well, I, I only know where my satchel, my diplomatic courier satchel is relative to me is because of the um, compass well, that's, icon. What, that's what I mean, right. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a long, it's a very tiny icon. <laughs> but I don't feel bad about breaking doors down now because obviously we're intended to do 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, got the jiggles. No, no, she says my life is ended. Actually, if I was a zombie, I think I would prefer that. Now, let's see. Okay, these boxes in here do appear to be jam boxes, and but there are a couple that aren't, so... Yeah, she's uh, really I, freaking I out, my, man. She's unhappy that she's dead. I have my satchel. Yeah, well, that was interesting. It was. It's over in this corner. Okay, good. Uh oh. So, do we want to go down this hallway and try to finish off this level? I suppose so. We do still have to complete the clear part of the quest. <laughs> Shoot him right quick before he pukes out the back of his head. Oh, he's not dead yet. Yeah. Now I'm going to say this is the motion or um, they meant for this to be um, representing zombies who got locked up because. Um, they know the information got locked up because of the condition. That's what I'm going to say, Doc. What do you think? Okay, sure. Oh, this must have been solitary or something. Cause, man, all they got is corpses and a mattress on the floor. Appalling conditions. Appalling. I don't know how this place ever passed the uh, state medical review. All right, well... I guess we go back up now, huh? Because there wasn't anything else down here, right? Uh, so far, I don't know of any other points of interest here. It's a floor. I don't see anything. Well, you're you're better um, at paying attention than me, so that's why I said that. Now, we came down these stairs. Should we go back up the other side? Okay, let's try that. It's locked, but I don't really care. I wonder if, if, if it frustrates um, creators when they're putting these locked doors and stuff, and then people just, players just chop through them, you know? Well, that's, you know, same question I have, I guess. I try to f avoid breaking things, assuming that the POI developer is going to give me He's some hints and here. clues and ideas about how to navigate. Uh, and that the uh, there's a path that they want me to follow, but uh, in this case, it seems to me that the path involves breaking some doors down in order yeah. to get to the zombies. So that's my well, point. Well, I'm going to say we've been here. Oh, here's some stairs up. Should we take those? Ah, uh, well, let me find you and uh, I'm back yeah. over here to fruit bar, grabbing a banana and an apple for later. Okay. All right. Looks like we got quite the crowd today. Oh my goodness, this must be intensive care. Okay, it must be somebody locked up in a room in here somewhere. It's still a nice, impressive POI. I will give that for it. Oh, yeah. You know, it's still nice and impressive. I enjoy Should I chop out this locked door over here? I say so, yeah. Oh, this must be the electroshock treatment room. Yep, this must be for the... See that guy dodge me? Oh, I guess I he's did, dead. He's, yeah. st he's standing up there. He's dead. That's funny. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the, uh, don't really want to be in this room. Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. Another stairway down. Another stairway up. Okay. Do we go this way then? Should we go through this door first? Now, is that the stairway we just came up? No, it could. Yeah, it could be because we came this direction, didn't we? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, coming back to you. Let's head on up the stairs there, Doc. All right. The uh, <laughs> colors blend to a very depressing state of the of the facility, you know. Oh, behind you there, watch out. You know what? I just realized we haven't had any trigger zombies. No, they all seem to be. Oh, this is old. Of the yeah, this is old school, Doc. Leaper variety, yeah. Hey, you want to go ahead and open the safe while we're here so we don't forget it? We can exclude okay. everything else later, but I'm kind of curious if we get anything cool in the safe. Yeah, this is old school, man. I can't believe it. We have, friends, discovered a couple of really cool large POIs. And we are planning on exploring them probably in our next episode. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. It, it may take a two-parter because uh, one of them is really large. Now, All right. A tier 2 hunting knife. Wow. One handgun cart, 49 millimeters, uh, a knife guy, and a lucky looter magazine. Well, that was a waste of time. I have 14 44 Magnum shells. I'll put them in the safe for you. Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, here, can't let me now, put yeah. them in this box up here on top. There's really nothing in there I need, so there you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so we came up here. We got a couple of weapon bags, and we got a roof hatch, a roof access. Oh, maybe so. Maybe where our clear targets are. I don't know, have we done both wings? There are wings? Well, I mean, we came in the center area, so I assume one side was one wing and the other wing was... Oh, okay. Speaking are... of wings, are there vultures here? Nothing yet. There is an egg. Sorry, friends. I had... Oh, wow, that wrecked all that raven. Oh, yeah, vultures. Where are they at? Oh my, but these workers are not part of the target P POI uh, clearing objective. We got to check the nest friends for, for, um, see this is what I was talking about, see there's this wing here. Okay, so. Um, yeah, here it comes. Do we want to? These were just we uh, opportunistic vultures. Opportunistic. Another opportunistic sounds like it's coming. Okay, so we go back down. Oh, except I missed the ladder. Okay. Yep, now he's here, huh? Okay, so back down again. So we've missed something somewhere, Doc. Evidently. Damn, I hate that when I do that too. We've been through that wing, we know that. Is this the stairs we came up or the ones on the other side? No, this is, I don't believe this is where we came up. Okay, then maybe we missed something down here. Now here's the big dining room. Here's their kitchen facility. Here's the stairs down, right? The stairs down are in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Hey. Well, yeah. there's a... A rear courtyard here. Oh, let me hold on. I'm coming uh, back to you. I... Maybe that's it, huh? Ah, uh, I don't know. There's the hmm. door that one broke open. Yeah, here's a zombie here. Okay. Another one. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, maybe the remaining 
zombies were taking a walk, um, getting their daily exercise. Roll around the grounds until you feel at home. Right, right. Hmm, I don't see any, anyone else. Oh, here's a deuce of a snake. That was it. Well, it was the snake. Yep, a duke's boy and a snake. All right, my friend. Well, oh, hello. He snuck in. On this Doc, you wanna? We're gonna go loot, which you've seen us loot before. If we get anything pretty fancy, we'll show you in the next episode. But do you want to tell everybody goodbye? Yeah, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining us on this pleasant walk through the um, insane asylum. Um, it looks like the creator of the POI uh, decorated the uh, outdoor area here in a way that makes for a sort of creepy, grisly, horror-inspired experience. And uh, it was a good POI. Yep. Take care, my friends. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.